the natural, what did you say? The natural, we went to the natural history spot on different days. Wow. The Natural History Museum is amazing. Now, and we went to MoMA. Now, did you guys get to see my favorite dinosaur, which was the T the T Rex? Are you seeing the T Rex? Yes. Oh, I saw that. I saw it. Oh yeah, me too. So, I there, saw it. hi, Catherine. Hi. We went to MoMA. So, we went to MoMA. So the MoMA for anybody on this call that doesn't know the MoMath is the Museum of Mathematics. So Wait, Valerie, there. well, what was your favorite thing there, Stella and Valerie? Oh, my favorite was, um, uh, let me think. And what about you, Val? What's your favorite? Um, because my, I have so, so many, so many favorite, favorite things. Hold on one second, guys. I'll be right back. Hold on. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. So guys, does anybody have a special math question that we can start with before we go into our second grade final exam work that we've been doing? Does anybody have a special question for that? Anybody have a special question? And Eleanor, Catherine, Valerie, Stella, you could ask anything you want. You could say, Mr. Kramer, I've been wondering about all these great math ideas. Is there anything you have to ask about? All right, if you don't, then let's get started right away. So I want everybody to look at what's on the sheet. I want you to write on your paper, points A, B, C, and D, and try to copy the position of where my dots are, A, B, C, and D. So what you do is you make a dot, like let's say you make a dot right here and you could label it A, and then you make a dot kind of over here and you can label that B, and then you can make a dot kind of down here and label it C, and then finally a dot all the way over here and label it D. It's kind of challenging to do that. So Catherine, have you written them down yet? I read it in down. Say again, honey. I did. You did. Fantastic. So now let's take our pencils. Now it says here to use a ruler, but I want you guys to get really good at making straight lines. Now, guys, can you tell me if you think mm -hmm. Mr. Kramer is good at making straight lines or not? Was that, was that a good attempt? No. No, no. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try again, but this time, guess where I'm keeping my eye? Do you think I'm keeping my eye on the pen or on the point B? Where do you think I should keep my eye? 
Go ahead and answer. A. You if you keep your eye on A on the pen, watch what happens. Oops, <coughs> I missed it. I missed it. Now, watch what happens if I keep my eye on B. Are you ready? Here we go. And oh boy, is that a much better straight line? Yeah. Now, yes. do the same thing from B to C. Remember, keep your eye on your destination, on your target. Valerie, are you doing this as well? Yeah, Valerie, you gotta pick up your pencil and you have to do exactly what we're doing because you can learn so, so much. So now I'm going to D and then finally from D to A. Now, I really, really like that shape. How many of you think you know what that shape is called? It's a very, very special shape. In fact, it's a shape that's so special that everybody wants to talk about all the special properties that it has. So who can tell me what that shape is? Anybody want to try? Raise your hand if you want to just give it a shot. If you want to make a, a guess as to what it is. By the way, can I see your shapes, please? Stella, Eleanor, Valerie, and Catherine. So hold your pages up right to the camera so I can see what you've drawn. Oh, wow. That's nice. I don't see Catherine's and Stella's. Catherine, can I see your um, shape, please? You have to hold it steady with two hands and hold it up to the camera. Oh, that was a great try. How about you, Stella? Can you show me where you are right now, even if you're not finished? Let's see yours. Oh, very, very nice. Now, I am wondering how many of you know the name of that shape? So throw out a word. Go ahead, Stella. Go ahead, Stella. You just froze a little bit. Go ahead, honey. A rectangle. Uh, ah, now a rectangle is a little bit different. A rectangle looks like this. So here's a rectangle, hold on a second. That, my friends, is a rectangle. And rectangles are very, very special shapes. And I will actually write the word rectangle. But rectangles, do you notice that their angles are all what? Who can explain what kind of angles those are? In fact, show me with your, your thumb. Do you remember me teaching you that angle? It's called yes. a, Valerie, go ahead. What do you think, Stella? I think it's a right angle. Yes. Each one of those angles is called a right angle, which has a degree measurement of 90 degrees. I want everybody to say that. Right angles are always 90 degrees. Right angles are always, always 90 degrees. degrees. Now, pick, can you pick up something right now that has a right angle? I'm going to choose a coaster. A book. Oh, and 
Can you point to the right angle? Now, Valerie, I don't see you picking anything up and pointing to any right angle. So could you do that? Eleanor, show me. A paper. Yes. How many right angles has that paper, Eleanor? How many right angles does it have? Four right angles? Yeah. Yeah. How about your book, Catherine? How many right angles yes. does it have? How many? Four. Four. How about yours, Valerie? Four. Four. And what about your beautiful book, Stella? Also four. Yes. Now, what's really interesting is, is that every rectangle has all the properties of that beautiful shape. But as you can see, this shape alone is not a rectangle. Why? Because the angles are not right angles. So who has another idea about this one? Who has another idea? I, are you ready? Whoever can say the word, please raise your hand. Okay, ready? Okay, go ahead, Catherine. Paragontic. Pretty close. These are two L's. Um, Eleanor, give it a shot. Parallelogram. Parallelogram. Stella? Parallelogram. Excellent. And Valerie? Parallelogram. Very, very good. Now, let's talk about parallelograms. They are very special because they have two sides that we call parallel. Now, the best way for me to show you this is I'm gonna show you two lines. And do you see how these lines will never meet. If I went up and down and up and down, they would never get close to each other like this. If I hold them like this, we call them parallel. So would everybody please pick up their two hands and hold them parallel? Let's say it again, parallel. 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 Go like this, parallel. Parallel. And go like parallel. this, parallel. Parallel. And parallel. Parallel. Awesome. Now, do you think that anyone, can you name the segments here? Can you say that segment AB, which is from here to here, is parallel to segment DC. Can anyone say that sentence? That's a math sentence. And the math sentence again is that segment AB is parallel to segment DC. Who can say that? Stella, give it a shot. Segment AB is parallel to segment DC. Excellent. Now, Valerie, I have a question for you. Do you see two other segments that are parallel? We know that AB and DC are parallel. Do you see, or Eleanor or Catherine, do you see two other segments that are parallel? Catherine? I see A, D, and B, C. Oh, my gosh. Eleanor, did you see the same thing? And Valerie? Wow. Now, Valerie, can you, yes. say, that, can you say that sentence, please, Valerie? Segment A, D, is perfect. Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm gonna try 
a different hotspot here. Let's see if that's going to be better. Hold on a second. You're frozen. Yeah, hold on a second. And let's see if this fixes it. Ooh, that's not going to be good. Okay, I'm back with you. So, Valerie, can you restate that state, that sentence about AD is parallel to? Segment AD is parallel to segment BC. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, do you know that every parallelogram has those qualities? Now, who can tell me something else about this parallelogram? For instance, if I tell you that this is called angle D, can you guys say angle D? Angle, angle D. D. Angle D. Now, do you see another angle on the parallelogram that is equal, or as we say, congruent to angle D? So angle D, is congruent to which other angle, Stella? Angle B. Wow. Now you guys can draw. Why don't you draw that? Why don't you first draw these little symbols for parallel? And after you draw the symbols for parallel, I would like you to draw the symbols for equal angles. Hmm. Okay, now, does anybody see two other angles? that are the same. Catherine, what do you see? A angle and C angle. Oh, so now guys, what we can do is draw one loop on A and one loop on C, and we can say angle A is congruent to angle C. Why don't you guys write that down? It's really, really cool. And the word we use for equal here is congruent. Everybody say it out loud. Congruent. Congruent, congruent means the same. Now, did everybody make those beautiful symbols? I love those symbols. Now, who can tell me something else that's special about our parallelogram? What if I asked you to look at segment AD? Is there another segment that would be equal in length to segment AD. Now you have three segments here, AB, BC, and CD. Which one do you think is the same as AD? Eleanor? BC. What do you think, Stella? Stella, what do you think? BC and then Catherine, what do you think? I think it's AB. Ah, and Valerie, what do you think? AB. So now let's look at this, guys. I want you to look at this segment 
AD for just a second, because I am inclined to agree with Eleanor and Stella. So look at segment AD. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone it over here. And then I'm going to turn it. Guess what guys? Do you still think that AD is congruent to AB, Catherine and no. Valerie? No. No. Oh. no, no, no. But look at this. No. It's exactly the same as CB. Isn't that awesome? So now we can go like this and we can say that AD, write it down, is congruent, it's an equal sign with a little squiggly on top to BC. Now everybody write that down. And now, do you see two other sides which are also the same? So raise your hand if you see two other sides that also have the same length. Valerie? Wow, nice job. So AB is congruent to DC. Everybody write that down. Now, that's pretty amazing. And now I want to ask you. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry that I lost you. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm going to. Frozen. Um, it's frozen. Yes, it is. So, guys, I'm going to try to move my computer to a different 